Hi everyone, it's Anya from Cooking with Plants and welcome to the first episode of FAQ Friday. So for FAQ Friday, I will be joined by my husband Mitch. Welcome, hello. So most of you don't know him, he's usually behind the camera when I'm creating my recipes. So for FAQ Friday, I will be answering your plant-based questions or anything about veganism that you'd like to know and Mitch will also be helping me. We'll answer these together or either um, together or separately, depending on who has time on that day and what type of question it is. And so for the first question today to kick this off is, does being vegan make you lose weight? What do you think? Well, for me, it certainly did. As soon as I started eating a plant-based diet, uh, I just had weight fall off automatically. I lost almost 50 or over 50 pounds, so about 20, over 20 kilos within about four or five months. So. And I, I lost a similar amount, yeah. probably around the same around yeah. the same amount in the same period of time. But you should qualify that by saying we were both on a Western diet, solidly yeah. Western diet, Yes, yeah. We used to eat a lot of meat, a lot of dairy, very oily foods, very rich foods full of processed butter foods. and Lots eggs, of processed foods. Processed foods. Yeah, highly saturated cholesterol ridden diet. So even when mm. we first switched to a plant based diet, we were still substituting the traditional meats and dairy with the fake meats and the fake cheeses. Which, and a lot of nut cheeses and nut cakes, yeah. which were very anti-dense. Yeah. But we well, still lost weight. We did lose weight. And I think, yeah, even though they were still very um, high in calories and, and processed fats and very rich foods, we still lost weight because overall the extra vegetables and salads and things that we were eating. Yeah, overall right. our calorific intake probably yeah. dropped. Yeah, definitely. Not probably, it did drop. Yeah, definitely. And over time, it dropped further, like sort of once we sort of settled in. It did take us quite a while, actually, to find replacements for our favorite sort of comfort foods and our favorite meals that we just settled into with that we liked. So Yeah, yeah. Um, and over time, we learned more about oils and how bad they are, and, and I'd had heart issues, so it was very important to start cutting those oils out as well. So our our general way of eating really really improved but even initially we were still eating deep deep fried chips or fries with a salad and potatoes and and whatnot Absolutely. so um, we didn't worry about oh it's deep fried chips that we're eating because we were still losing weight so we were thinking oh yeah this is healthy and this is fantastic but I think over time as you eat healthier and healthier you just crave health healthier foods as well and less general, rich yeah, foods so for mm. us yeah for us it definitely made us lose weight but i think our taste buds actually changed i think yeah once you I, I think about probably four or five months in things like mangoes and strawberries and things suddenly had so much more flavor yeah i think i would i'd overpowered my palate so much on the western diet that strawberries didn't taste sweet anymore to me mm. i always wanted to add something to them Whereas now they taste super sweet and sometimes mangoes are almost too sweet mm. and dates and things like that. And the same mm. with salty foods. The less mm. the salt you include, the more you taste the natural salts. Like when we eat tomatoes, you can actually mm. taste the saltiness of a tomato on its own without yeah. having to put salt and extra things on there. And Or yeah. celery, if you're making a vegetable broth and you're putting celery in there, you just taste those natural salts coming out. So your palate does change and... You'll need to give that time as, as well. So, But definitely a whole food plant-based diet without oils, a low-fat and high-carbohydrate um, diet will definitely do wonders because the calories are naturally low. You have all the vitamins and nutrients and fibre that you need to be healthy and, and yeah, it will just give you so much energy. And yeah, we, do you think we snack less now? Like it used to be – I don't know if we're – our meals were so nutriently deficient before that even when you were full and you finished it, you're still looking for something. Whereas now I, yeah. I kind of find I eat something and I go off about my day and then 
come back in a few hours and eat some more. Whereas yeah. I used to always be picking something yeah. in between meals. So, so well, I, I probably have days where I snack more, but my snacks are more a piece of fruit or just a handful of nuts or yeah, something whole food based. Whereas previously it would be a packet of crisps or um. A muesli yeah. bar or something yeah, like that. Yeah, or something, something yeah, much more um, oily or, or pros- probably more processed. Yes. We have a lot less processed food now. And, um, yeah, that makes a huge difference because they are so much lower in calories, naturally lower in calories. We don't worry about counting calories. And we've definitely mm. lost the weight eating a vegan diet well we don't even call it a diet we call it a lifestyle so it's definitely yeah. worked for us yeah yep so i think that answers the question i think like is it possible to get fat eating a vegan diet yeah. absolutely yep. if you eat high fat processed vegan donuts all day you're gonna get fat <laughs> yeah yeah the um, fat you eat is the fat you wear so just mm-hmm. be aware of that and yeah if you stick to a whole food plant-based diet Eat lots of fruit and vegetables and lots of fibre-rich grains and legumes. The weight will come off. For sure. So we'll see you for the next FAQ Friday on next Friday. (laughs) (laughs) It's a wild guess. (laughs) See See you then. then. Bye. Bye.